clash of the weekend is definitely at Anfield. Liverpool in third place taking on Spurs in fifth. You, you see the SPI percentages to finish in the top four at the end of the season. At the moment, Liverpool at 89% and Spurs just two points behind them at 61%. That could all change, though, given what might happen at Anfield on, uh, on Sunday. With a Liverpool win, they would then be 96% to finish in the top four. Solidified. A Spurs Solidified. win, a Spurs win would uh, increase their chances by, by a whopping 30%, apparently, according to the SBI. So uh, let's come to you, Mr. Nickel, first on this. Is it, is it that crucial a game in terms of top four ambitions? Uh, I don't think it's the be-all and end-all. Yes, it's an important game. Um, I'd have to say, though, I, I'll be absolutely shocked <clears throat> if Liverpool lose this game. Mm. I mean, it's two years since Liverpool lost against any of the teams in the top six at home. Uh, and quite frankly, in these big games, they've pretty much dominated most of them. So I expect that to happen again. I expect Liverpool mm. to do exactly what Spurs did to Manchester United the other day. I was uh, going to say, that, even, even though Spurs are coming off... An impressive well, that's a question. Can, can Spurs put a back-to-back -back performances on, like off the back of that game against Man mm. United, where they were absolutely excellent? They got Eriksen back in the team. He dictated the play. They were, they were okay. They're still missing. Oh, they were held at the back, but the back four was superb, particularly uh, Jan Vertonghen. Don't think Lucas Moura is going to be involved, but he's part of the plans now. They've got players fit again. If they can put that performance in, they can win the game. Mm. Uh, but. It, you know, as Stevie mentioned, Liverpool's problems and dropping points haven't really been against the big boys no. in the division. They've been against the weaker teams. On the evidence that we have seen from Spurs throughout the course of the season, the answer is very clear. No, they cannot put up another performance back-to-back -back like they did against mm. Manchester United. That has been the criticism of Spurs this season, is that you see them, you see the potential, you see what they can be, and then they come back to the group. And it, it just... I don't, I don't get the sense that this is a team that can do this on a back-to-back -back mm -hmm. game. And, and certainly not at Anfield. Not with the energy that is created in that stadium. And Liverpool has been dominant there. It just does not feel like Spurs would go into there and do the same things that they did to Manchester United. Stuart, uh, let's uh, guarantee you get your thoughts. Is it that pivotal a game in the, in the race for the top four? It's a massive game, and I, but I agree with Alejandro about Spurs. They've played brilliantly at times at Wembley, but you, they lost at Manchester United early in the season. They went to Arsenal and tried to pass Arsenal off the field and got beat, and they were, they were poor that day. They then went to Manchester City and tried to match fire with fire and press them high up the field. They got blown apart that day. So I think Tottenham are a very good side, but against the big sides away from home, they haven't played well enough. And I'm interested to see how they approach it. Are they going to press the ball high up the field? Are they going to try and play out from the back and then be caught on the ball like Liverpool have done at home on many occasions it's a big game for Pochettino to get his tactics absolutely right well in fairness to them uh, on that Man United game Robbo uh, Kane was out and mm. they really struggled without Harry Kane mm. yeah. uh, away from home I, I agree though there have been huge questions of them and, and these kind of games away from home that, that's why we have to be looking to the manager mm. uh, Pochettino to see what he's going to do but let's not forget and we're going to get to Chelsea I know but let's not forget it isn't a battle between what it looked like it was going to be a battle between Arsenal Liverpool and Tottenham for that fourth spot, mm. all the top four. And all of a sudden, there's another team in London getting dragged back into it. So that make, I, for, for me, that makes it an even bigger game for these two, particularly Tottenham.